Hello everyone, welcome back again with the new video. In the last videos, we have seen how to deploy our application on some specific domain and some virtual machines. So these different steps we already followed containerizing the application, a front end and the back end, created domain. So we configured the Apache server as the proxy server, uh, created the certificate and we were able to access all the applications like front end, back end, explorer and lot of things. Now there is a service like Netlify, which is used to I mean, we can have our front-end application directly deployed there. Uh, it's a couple of clicks and you will be able to deploy your application. You don't need to worry. I mean, I feel it's very easy actually compared to creation of the um, container, just adding um, one more additional proxy server as an Nginx inside the container and serving the build file. So let's explore that part. That will be very simple. Uh, let me just go to the Netlify. Okay, this is the website. You have to log in app.netlify.com. Just log in with your GitHub account. Once you log in with the GitHub account, so you will be having access to the Netlify. And from this side, we will be able to handle it. Uh, it's very easy actually, creation of the sites and everything. Okay, it's I think I tried for the front end application only. It's very easy. Even though we are pushing small chains, it will automatically get uh, triggered and it will just send the data. Okay, let's go to the, by default, there would be a Teams, actually, out of commons team is the default. And for the free account, we, we can have only one team and we can have some limited bandwidth, 100 GB per month. Uh, build minute is 300 minutes and uh, concurrent builds one. Okay, these are the different configuration which comes with the free trial. Now, go to the, once you have this kind of uh, UI here, right? Don't worry about the sites. You will not have anything at the initial phase, but you can create here, here. first one. Okay, here, uh, just click on the sites. So when we click on the sites, so we will be able to see here, lot of different sites. So in my case, I already configured some of them, but there wouldn't be any uh, site for you. So just click on this new site, import an existing project. Okay, so just click on the first option. All right, so we have different options here. So deploy with GitHub, just click on this. So it will authorize from the GitHub itself. All right, so uh, here I have my repository. So you have to put your repository on the GitHub somewhere so that it will automatically get triggered everything. So e-contract is my repository, team name, build. Okay, so these things we have to provide. Adopt Commons teams, so same by default team, there is only one. So the branch, which branch you wanted to deploy, you can decide here. And whenever there is a change in the main branch, it will automatically deploy. So base directory, okay, so in our repository, we can see, this is the main repository and it's having UI as a subfolder inside that. So we have to make sure provide exactly same as a base directory. UI, okay. And public directory is UI build because when we create production build, so all files will be available inside the build folder. Build command, which build command you wanted to pass it. So this one, I'm just adding here. CI first, NPM run build legacy peers dependency I, okay this just add in the build command and finally that's it we have to add a couple of environmental variables uh, so as we mentioned earlier as well react app base url because this request will hit to the api server right so api server our our api server needs to be up and running for this if you wanted to access this the api server is https api.pontecacademy dot online right dot slash v1 this is the url one more variable we have to add npm flag i think uh, this legacy peer dependency we cannot add directly right now just i'm adding one more flag npm flag and there we can just pass that legacy peer dependency okay so that's why just keep as this as well so i'm not uh, you can just get confirmation whether this one this one but yeah these are the two variables and uh, finally can we provide the name just let me check
it will create a default name actually. So I'm just deploying now, deploy e contract. Okay, magnificent pixie. Okay, this is the name got created. And now the production build is automatically started. So you can see here, it, it's showing building right now. When we click on this, we should be able to see all the steps here associated for the deployment of a front end application. Okay, first is the initialization. It will just uh, do all the stuffs for you. So we don't need to do anything now. That's it. You During this initialization, everything they will do for us, we don't need to worry. So with these small changes, we can just deploy our site on the Netflix line. So within a couple of minutes, our net site will be up and running. So first one is the initialization. Second one is the building. Third one is the deploying. Fourth one is the clean up. Post processing, is there anything? So we'll be able to see the status immediately here itself. So it requires some time, like a couple of minutes. So, okay, first initialization is done. So in an initialization, so what are the things they are doing? We can see in the command line itself. Next phase is the building. Creating the production build. Let me just minimize. Okay. Building is also done. Deploying and cleanup is skipped. Post processing is also complete. Now our site is up and running. We can just see as well. Click on this preview or open production deploy. Just click on this. Perfect. We are able to access our site even main magnificent pixie. This is the name dot netlify dot up. So we can even configure the domain as well. So uh, it's an exercise for you. If you are interested on this netlify, you can configure that as well. Okay. And one more thing, just let's try to log in as well. Admin one zero two at the rate gmail dot com. Admin at the rate one two three. This is the username and the password. Let's see if you are able to hit okay, incorrect email or password. there is a comma actually in the email just a moment perfect we are able to access our site using this netlify as well here it is hitting and these are the different contracts we created earlier uh, itself another one interesting thing whenever we are making any change just let me log out here Welcome to the contract. Welcome to the contract management. Okay, let's try to change this one. So on the local, I will change this API. Okay, from here also I can do the same thing. I will just search contract management on UI. Okay, instead of contract management, welcome to the agreement management. Now, git status using github actually for this but uh, initially we copy pasted the whole folder and later i switched to the uh, github configuration as well what is the file name auth.js okay this is the file what we can do now git add ui src layouts Yes. Okay, I'm just adding this. So this build will get triggered immediately. Git commit hyphen here. Application name changed. Okay, git push. Okay, I'm pushing to the main branch. Perfect. Now go to the Netflix fly. Here we will be able to see the build site configuration, which was that deploys. Okay, let's see the deployment. Okay, you can see here I just pushed this change like 11 for 54 only, and it started uh changes. This is the application name change. This is a commit. We will be deploying it automatically, so we don't need to worry. So once we are done with this deployment, so we'll see like how exactly is going. So the process and everything we can see here, initializing, deploying and everything. So it will take some time, like a couple of minutes maximum and our net site would be up and running without any issue. We can see on the screen, uh, initialization is completed and even build is also uh, going on in progress. 
So these different steps we will automatically get triggered. So we don't need to do anything. Just we have to configure one time. And whenever there is a change, you can define a lot of configuration within this Netlify itself, like which branch you want, how many times. So everything you can just configure. Okay, everything is done. So this, these changes are completed now. Initializing, building, deploying, cleanup, and post-processing. Now let's try to open our application. We can see here, right? Welcome to the agreement management. So it's a change immediately got reflected. We don't need to do like creating the image, uh, deploying the changes. I mean, in the previous approach, we have done a lot of stuff, right? Just for deploying the front end application. But using this Netlify, it's a very straightforward. We can access it. We can just deploy without any issue and couple of minutes, our server will be up and running. So this was all about the deployment of the front-end application on the Netlify. But yeah, there are a number of op options uh, available on, in the market. So it's up to you how we want it to go ahead. But yeah, this was overall about the document management, contract management, or agreements management. Because all these operations we are trying to do using this blockchain backend and the front-end. Okay, thank you so much.